Hello and welcome to the OWC instructional series of videos. In this installment, we're going to show you how to upgrade the hard drive in a mid-2010 21 and a half inch iMac. We've already gathered our materials, shut down and unplugged the iMac, and are working on a soft static-free work surface. We are now ready to begin. The first thing we'll need to do is remove the front glass. Open the handle of one of your suction cups, press it against one of the upper corners of the front glass, and close the handle to secure it in place. Repeat the process on the other side. Then, gently pull forward on the handles, separating the glass front from the magnets that hold it in place. You can then lift the glass up and out of the iMac and set it aside. At this point, you'll need to be very careful not to touch the screen directly as the oils from your hands are difficult to remove. Next, we'll need to remove eight Torx T10 screws, four on the left and four on the right. You may want to use a pair of tweezers as you remove each screw to help keep them from getting away from you, especially the ones located near the magnets. Then, being careful not to touch the screen itself, gently pull the screen forward until you can see the vertical sync cable in the top left corner. Detach it by sliding it from its connector by the tabs. Below the vertical sync cable is the backlight power cable. Detach it by pushing on the release tab and sliding the connector downward. Then, detach the DisplayPort cable near the center right by first opening the handle by lifting up on the black plastic tab then lifting the connector straight up and out. Finally, slide the temperature sensor cable out of its socket. You can now lift the LCD unit up and out of the iMac and set it aside. The hard drive is located here, near the center of the iMac. The first thing we'll want to do is find the hard drive sensor cable trace it to its socket, and remove it. Next, remove these two Torx T10 screws which hold the drive in place. You can now lean the drive forward and lift it out of the base slightly. Detach the two SATA cables and you can now remove the drive from the iMac completely. Here we have our original drive and our new drive. The first thing we'll want to do is remove these two Torx T8 mounting pins and attach them in the same spot on the new drive. Then, do the same thing with the mounting bracket on the other side. The new hard drive is now ready to install. First, attach the OWC sensor cable to the SATA power cable. Then, slide the connection into the small space under the metal structure to the right. This may take a little maneuvering to get it to fit correctly. You can now attach the other end of the OWC cable to the drive. Then, attach the data cable directly. Make sure the sensor cable isn't trapped behind the drive. Then slide the hard drive's mounting pins into their grommets in the bay. And secure the drive with the two Torx T10 screws we removed earlier.
Next, peel off the paper covering the adhesive backing on the sensor board and adhere the board to the drive near the spindle. Finally, slide one end of the sensor connector cable into the port on the sensor board and the other into the temperature sensor port on the logic board. Run the cable so it sits out of the way and we're now ready to close up. Set the LCD into the iMac, but don't lean it back. First, reattach the temperature sensor cable by sliding it into its slot until it clicks. To reattach the DisplayPort connector, first make sure the handle is flipped upwards. You can then slide it into the connector, then flip the handle down to lock it into place. On the lower left side, push the power connector into place until the locking tab engages. Finally, plug the vertical sync cable back in. Once all the cables are attached, you can lay the screen all the way back. We can now replace the eight Torx T10 screws that hold the LCD in place. To ease alignment, place a small screwdriver in the topmost hole on one of the sides and use it to position the LCD. Then, insert a screw into the next lower hole, but don't tighten it all the way. Then, do the same thing on the other side. You can now replace and tighten the four screws on each side. Once all the screws have been replaced and tightened, all we have left to do is to replace the glass. Set the glass into place along the lower edge by lining up the tabs with their corresponding slots, but don't close it yet. Use your microfiber cloth to gently wipe any dust off the screen and inside of the glass. Lean the glass back up into place until the magnets catch. Then, gently squeeze along the top edge to make sure all the sides are flush. You can now remove the suction cups and wipe away any marks using your microfiber cloth. You may now hook your iMac back up, plug it in, and turn it on.